Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your total body kettlebell supersets workout. This is day eight of your power challenge. This is also a great workout that you can do at any time. I'm gonna give you lots of different options to work to your level. We're gonna be working with a kettlebell today to work the total body in superset format. Are you ready? Let's do it. Go ahead and start with a little march and roll of the shoulders. We're gonna start getting the body warmed up. We're gonna keep this warm up pretty short. So of course, if you need to get more of that warm up on your own, let's roll it through right through here. Our goal with this warm up is to get the blood flowing, get our body's core temperature up, get moving in the ways that we're gonna be moving today in this workout. And really just to get the energy up and the endorphins going. So we're feeling ready to move. Let's go ahead and bring those arms forward right through here. Let's just do some little gentle knee pulls while we're taking those arms out. So you can grab either right on top of the leg or underneath if that's better for you. If you wanna keep those feet on the floor, also an option. But open up those arms, pull up those knees right through here. We're gonna take it with little hip rolls this way, warming up the hips. Can we add a little side lunge into it or side squat? Up to you, roll the hip, reach it down, roll the hip, reach it down. You don't have to go the same speed as me. Your pacing is what you need it to be. Let's hold it out right here and just reach. So keep that little weight shift. <sighs> Reminder, something I always tell you that this is your workout. We are all on different journeys. We are all different places in our journey. And I'm gonna remind you to be where you are today. Every day might look a little bit different and that is okay. Let's take it flat back down and then we'll round it up. So be where you are today. You do you, this is your workout. I want you to make it work for you. I want you to be challenged. I want you to push yourself. I'm gonna to try to push you to get out of that comfort zone, but in a way that works for you. Let's take it down right here, hands right on top of the legs. Roll through that back. It's just a little standing cat cow right through here. And then if you can, take the hands all the way down. You're gonna pedal those feet, little stretch in that hinge. If that's not right for you, you take it right here. Pull up these pants. New pants, I love them, but getting used to them. If you can, we are gonna walk it back to that high plank. You can also drop to those knees. And then we're gonna take one leg up, big stretch up, back down to center and stretch it back. You can stay on the knees for that. Or if you'd rather, you can take it back from here. Down, reach, you can step back from the lunge or from the plank. Let's get one more each side, then we're getting into it. Last one, so we get that core warmed up. Step it up or walk it up. Round it up through here. Let's tap and reach across. So here's what we've got, team. Maybe you did last week's dumbbell total body supersets. Similar format. This time we only have three circuits. That is it, team. Your first round, we're alternating between two exercises. So generally, a superset is going back and forth between two exercises. Sometimes we get a little creative with that. But that's what we're doing today. So you have each of those exercises has three rounds, three sets. Our first two sets are 45 seconds. Our last set is 30 seconds only. So it moves pretty quickly. We're gonna get that heart rate up. I'm gonna give you a few slight variations as we go if you wanna mix up that exercise. Your first round, that first round of 45 seconds, is what we'll call your back to basics. You can keep it at that, or you can add a little variety if you want. So three rounds, 45, 45, then 33 circuits is all we need. I'll give you options as we go. You do you, be where you are today. Let's start with a little pre-hydration. Everybody grab a sip of water and let's get ready to move. We're gonna grab a kettlebell, preferably something heavy to start with. I'm gonna try to start with my 26 and then might have to jump down. So we're gonna start 
with a squat into a hinge. So you have two options. Our first round, let's keep it all low, squat it down, and then hinge it. Then we're gonna add the option to do a goblet squat down to a hinge. In between that, our second exercise is gonna be a lunge and a row. We're gonna give you some options with that. We'll go all on the right, all on the left. But let's start with that squat and hinge. You're keeping that kettlebell low, shoulders back, core engaged, 45. Here we go, sit low in the squat, drive up through the heels, and then you're gonna hinge. So I want you to think about making them different, right? Shoulders are pulled back, chest is open, but I'm gonna drop my hips towards the ground on the squat, and I'm gonna drive my hips to the back on that hinge, right? So on that hinge, if you wanna think that you're shutting the car door behind you with your booty, right? And you're sitting low to the ground with that squat. We got 15 seconds. I want you to stand up nice and tall on both and really connect not only with those glutes and those legs, but with your core and pelvic floor. We got five, four, three, two, one. Give your hands a break. We got a lunge in a row. You know I love this pattern. If you want, you can keep it stationary and bring it up. I'm gonna start with that, then I'm gonna give you the option to step into it. We got 45 seconds, right leg forward. Here we go. Lunge down, row up. Lunge down, drop the knee, row up. So my chest stays forward and low the entire time. You can keep it here. If you wanna add some movement, step up into it. Get low, bring it up, yes. Down and up, yes. Whoo! Breathe into that nice flat back. So you wanna keep that flat back here. I like to take this hand out sometimes. There we go, breathe. Yes, down and up. Five seconds, whoo, glad I picked this heavy one. Three, two, one, and relax. All right, so remember, that was my right leg forward, my left arm doing the row. We're gonna go back to that squat and hinge, and then we'll get that other side. So if you want, goblet squat, drop it down for the hinge. Here we go. Sit low in the goblet squat, drop that kettlebell, hinge it here. Then it's a little clean. If you don't feel comfortable with that clean, which is bringing the weight up to your chest, then I want you to just keep the weight low, just like we did in round one. Back to basics, remember make them different. Squat, whoo, and hinge. Take it down, yes. Don't forget about what your core is doing, right? And up, five seconds, three, two, one, and relax. All right, now we're gonna switch to that other side. So same idea, you can keep it stationary lunge, drop it down, row it up, chest stays low the whole time, so it's really that back leg moving. Here we go. Down, pull that row up. Push through the heel, drive up through the row. Here to here, flat back. You can even have your hand on the wall if you want a little balance, that will help. If you wanna step forward into it, there's my heart rate because I'm using my heavy one, right? Down, bring it up, drop it low. Bring it up, down, and up. Yes, you can. Ha, whoo, 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, team. This is it, our last round of the superset, right? You're feeling it. Now we've got that 30 second round. So drop it down in the hinge, clean it up, squat it here. Do what is best for you if you wanna keep the kettlebell low the entire time or if you wanna clean it up, whatever is best for you, you do you. We got 30 seconds, core engaged, shoulders back. Three, two, one, squat down and then clean, it's only 30. So make it good. Get low with both. I would love for you, especially at the bottom of that squat, to really sit for just a second. 
Then bring it up. Hang for just a second. Up strong. Down. Again, that clean is advanced, so don't feel like you have to take that option. You can keep that weight low the entire time. Three, two, one, and relax. All right, guess what, team? We are gonna go 30 seconds right, followed by 30 seconds of left with this lunge and row. It is up to you if you wanna move into it or keep it stationary. Here we go, right side. Lunge and row. I'm going a little bit lighter, as you can tell. Bring it up, take it down, bring it up. Nice and strong. So either way, I'm keeping my chest low because I'm rowing at the top, down, and up, down, and up. Yes, you can, 10 seconds. Low to high, drive out of that front heel. There's your push, and then pull that weight up towards your hip bone, towards that rib cage. That's your pull, three, two, one. Shake it out, ha! Heart rate. Let's get that other side. So, I know that leg is burning, but I want you to think about that strong back doing the work as well. In three, two, one. Lunge and row. And up, flat back. Pull that elbow up. Shoulder blade in. Bring it up, because I'm keeping my hips and shoulders square to the mat. And up, yes you can. And breathe. Ha. Yes. Five, four, three, two, one. Ha. Huh. Relax. Yes, team. Quick sip of water, team. Ha. Huh. That is your first circuit. We got two more that are similar to that, but I promise they're going to go by quickly. Supersets tend to go by fast. Whoo. Feeling it. Working with that kettlebell today, how about we get a little swing? Now, if you've never done a kettlebell swing before, I want you to stay with that deadlift. So everybody grab a heavy kettlebell if you got it, or heavy weight, and that hinge motion that we just did, you're just gonna stick right here. So everybody can do a couple warm-up hinges right here. If you are comfortable with the swing, we start in that hinge pattern, we prep it back, not lifting with our arms, but pulling with those back muscles. Power it up using the back of your legs, Lock it out, let it drop. We got 30 seconds only. Lower body doing the work. Lots of power, lots of strength, lots of cardio. Shoulders back, core wrapped and engaged. Eyes up, hinge it, flat back, prep it. Here we go, three, two, one. Power, let it drop. So, if you think of coming from a hinge position to like a standing plank, right? You're not hyper extending, you're not arching your back. You're counterbalancing the weight, but you're locking out, standing straight and tall. Squeeze in the glutes, lock out with the knees, the hips, the core. Shoulder blades are pulled in, but arms are not working. Let it drop. Lock out, let it drop. We got three, we got two, one. Swing and relax. You never wanna stop that swing in midair. You wanna get a little pedal right here. Whew. All right, more water if you need it, we are going Two, round two. All right, team, so we got a bicep curl into a curtsy. We're gonna keep it pretty simple, but I'm gonna give you some options as we go. So we are gonna take it. One dumbbell, curl to the chest, drop it down in the curtsy. Curl to the chest, drop it down in the curtsy. That is our move one. We're gonna alternate right, alternate left. Get low if you can. Then we're taking it to a press and a windmill. So if you can, you're gonna take it high windmill. If you have the strength, mobility, take it there. And windmill. You're going all on the right for 30, 45, and then all on the left, all right? If you want, you have the option to keep it low too. Bring that kettlebell in the center. Start with those bicep curls. Here we go. Curl, drop it down, and curtsy. Bring it up. Curl, drop it down. Curtsy, yes. Curl, and low, drive up through that heel. Right through here, yes. Up, down, low to high. 
Breathe strong in those arms and strong in the legs. If you need to modify, you can just do the curl or you can take it just a little tap back and not get as low. Taking it slow and controlled. Three, two, one, and relax. All right, shake them out. So right side only. So I'm gonna say going down with that right side. So if you can, you're gonna press up, go down in the windmill. If that is too heavy, just take the windmill or you're gonna keep that kettlebell low. I'm gonna show you all those options. You got 45 seconds. Zip up that core. Three, two, one. So it's a little push press and a little lower. Now that's pretty advanced. So if you need to, if you're familiar with just your windmill right up here, take it here. Or have that windmill low here and up. So it's just your standard windmill. We're getting a lot of those obliques, a lot of that standing core, and we're getting shoulder mobility. If you got that press in you, take it down. But again, I wanna give you options if maybe you're more advanced in your kettlebell journey, but also if you're new. If you're new, just keep that kettlebell low or just do the motion without the weight. Three, two, one, and relax. All right, and remember what side you're on because we're gonna go back to that curtsy and curl. This time, we're gonna curl. We're gonna hold it at the top. So watch me right here. We're gonna do that curl. We're gonna curtsy holding the biceps. We're back down to center. So join me, 45 in three, two, one. Curl to the chest. Sit low in the curtsy, drive it up. Curl to the chest, low in the curtsy, drive it up. Breathe, core stays engaged so you can feel what happens. We have to stabilize more with our upper body and with that core as we go in that curtsy. Again, if you need to, just keep the biceps or keep it low or don't get down as low in that curtsy. That's an option, but if you can, Get down there, because I know you can. Here we go. You do you, your workout. What is enough for you in this moment? Three, two, one. Give your hands a little break. All right, team, we are back. Other side windmill. So remember, you can keep that kettlebell low. You can keep it high, or you can do press and windmill. Let's get it done right through here. Pick your pleasure. Here we go down, wrap it in. It's a little push press. I know that's advanced, so feel free. If you're used to just a regular windmill, take it there. If you're used to a low windmill or you're new to the windmill, then give it as a stretch, right? You're still getting the obliques working. You're still getting that shoulder mobility, right? Right through there. Down and breathe. Yes, keep it going, 10 seconds, boom, yes, three, two, one, and relax. All right, team, so we are down to that last round. Guess what, we got 30 seconds, two times through of each, so hang with me. We're gonna go curtsy, curl, all on one side, so if you want here, here, just like this. If you want to, you can take it to a little gunslinger curl. Watch me if you've done this before. Take it low, sling it up, just like that. So join me, right side only, 30 seconds. Here we go. You got curtsy and curl. So your slinger, you're getting low with it, then you're powering it up. If that's not right for you or that's too heavy for what weight you have, I just want you to curl to the chest, drop it low. And here, you do you, ha, and down, or here, sling it up, three, two, one, and relax, get set up for that other side, let's just get it down, let's keep that heart rate up, in three, two, one, 30 seconds, curtsy, and curl, you can always stay with what we did in the beginning, Curl with two hands, curtsy alternating. Up to you. And here, or here, curtsy. 
and up. Whoo! Breathe. 10 seconds. There's that heart rate, right? Down and up. Three, two, one, and relax. Whoo! All right, team, stretch out your back. Here is what we got. We are taking it on that windmill. You're going windmill to plie, so toes out. You can go press, windmill, lower it down, and plie. If that doesn't feel right for you, you can just do a plie, or you can do just a windmill. You pick, I know it's a lot to think about, but try it if you can. We got 30 seconds right. 30 seconds left, here we go. Press, windmill, racket, plie. Press, so see what happens. You can use that plie. Take it up, take it down. You can also go two-handed if you'd rather do that. Down and up and bend. Down and up. Right here, press, windmill, and here. Shake it out. Same thing, other side than this superset is done. I know it feels a little chaotic, because we did a lot of right side, left side. But let's get it done. Three, two, one. So you can go press, windmill, racket, and plie. Another option, press with that arm. Low windmill, and here. Press, low windmill, and here. I know, it feels like a lot. Whoo, rack, and down. Press. And here, three, two, one, and relax. Woo! That was confusing, right? I know, I know, for me too. Catch your breath, team, quick sip of water. How about another swing? Why not? Then we're going down to the mat, team. Back to that swing. Again, you decide. We're all gonna warm up with a little hinge to get in that pattern. Then we got a 30 second swing or a 30 second deadlift. I want you to really find the power through the back of the body, posterior chain. Everybody start whew, with those shoulders pulled back, soft knees, weight goes down in the center, hinge, bring it up. Just get a few right here with me as a little warm up to get into that hinge pattern. Our muscle memory, especially after we did some squats, wants to do a squat, but we're gonna keep it here. All right, team, so if you want, keep that deadlift or Let's take it to a full swing. Shoulders pulled back, core engaged, hinge it, hike it back, pull it back. Three, two, one, power. Let it drop. Remember, you're locking out of the top. You do not have to go higher than chest level or eye level. In fact, keep it low. That means your arms aren't doing the work. Lock out of the top, really connect as you lock out those knees and hips. Connect with the glutes, the core, the pelvic floor. Five, four, three, two, one. Swing and relax. Pedal those feet, quick sip of water, and then meet me down on the mat. We got one more circuit. It's all on the mat. It's gonna be kind of core heavy, but let's get it done, team. All right, we are gonna start just holding the weight up and getting a leg Lower with this core work, if you need to modify, you always have the option, instead of the leg lower, to do a leg raise, weighted leg raise, and a shoulder press instead of a chest press. You also have the option to do a bridge. So I'll show you the modifications down here. Otherwise, hang with me. We're starting with just core. We're alternating with the plank, so it's gonna be a lot of forward and back. Treat that as your mobility work, but we're taking it here. Weighted leg lower. Let's start with one and then the other. And then we're turning it to a plank and we're gonna pull it through, across. Pull through, across. Let's get it done. Bring it here, weight up above. Core engaged, tilt that pelvis. Here we go, down and up. So flex those feet. Here's some things I want you to think about. One, if you need to modify, take it to a bridge, right? Tilt the pelvis in, hips to ribs. Tack those rib bones down together. Everything pulling in towards the center, not arching the back, but not pulling in so nice and tight. You can push into that kettlebell. So feel how the weight 
is having you counterbalance to make it tougher. You don't have to go as low with the legs, but really think about bringing your heels together, big squeeze in the inner thighs. Feel how when you squeeze those inner thighs, what do you feel? You feel that deep core, right? Three, two, one. Carefully set that kettlebell down. We're gonna go to a plank pull through. If you need to modify, stay on your knees, take it across. If you can, come up on those hands, drag it across one side to the other. Here we go. Through and back, through. So it's a lot of core, back and here and here pull it through ha yes so you're reaching under then pulling that weight across yes you're gonna move a little bit you're gonna rotate a little bit with those hips but your goal is to keep everything pulled in shoulders back hips and ribs pulled together a little tuck of that pelvis as you move the weight and you hold the plank right take it here breathe five Second, stay strong. Knees work two. We got three, two, one. Take it back over. This time we're doing a little chest press with that leg lower. If you wanna take it standing, shoulder press and kick, you can do that too, or bridge. Here we go. So we're going up, lower one leg down. Squeeze those heels together. As you press up with the weight, push into those hands. Little extra upper body and pull those heels together. Again, if you really visualize as you pull those heels in, you tilt the pelvis and you bring those inner thighs together in a squeeze while the weight meets you up top. I know that feels like a lot to think about, but feel the difference when you think about those inner thighs, which are connected. There's actually a research study on this on <laughs> adductor, your inner thighs on that engagement on the pelvic floor and deep core. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, working in those arms, keeping that. Woo. This time, team, pull it through, rotate to the side with or without the knees. Pull it through, rotate. Here we go. Pull through, rotate, reach, rotate. If you're on your knees, totally fine. Reach back to here. Pull it through. Stay on the knees and open up. Reach. Ha. Yes. I know. I feel it too. Reach. All the way through 10 seconds. Three, two, one, relax. All right, this time team, instead of that chest press, if you wanna get fancy, take it to the tricep press, so it's a little bend, or keep those elbows in. If you also wanna get fancy, you can drop those legs together, cause we got 30 seconds. Here we go. So, triceps, leg lower together, or regular press, leg lower together, or one at a time. Lots of options here. Again, you can take it standing or instead of the leg lower, if you need to modify that core, take it with the bridge. Right here, yes team. Whoo! Back of those arms, which we're working on that press. Lots of core. Ha! Five, four, three, two, one. In to that high whoo, plank again, but this time no weights. In fact, step away from those weights. We're gonna do that rotation. We're gonna jump it out. Rotation, you can tap it out. Otherwise, stay on the knees, tap out. Stay on the knees, tap out. But if you can, plank, rotation, plank, jack. Let's get a little cardio and core. Uppers working hard, zip it up. Three, two, one. Rotate, and out. Ooh, burn, and out. And out. Yes, team. Finish it strong. We've done a lot of work today. A lot of things for your body to think about. Breathe up. You got five, four, 
three, two, one, and relax. Woo! Up onto those feet. Come up slower than I just did. Ha! Feeling that upper, feeling that core. Yes, team. All right, you know what? I think we gotta do one more swing. Consider it a bonus move. My core is on fire, so hopefully you feel your core connecting during this workout. Whew, or this last swing, I should say. 30 seconds is all we need. Give yourself a few little preps of that deadlift to get into that hinge pattern. Keep the deadlift if you want. Last 30, here we go. Wrap it in right here. Hinge it here. Prep it three, two, one. Power it up. Let it drop. Yes, you can. Push into those feet. Shoulders pulled back. So think of it as squeezing your armpits, but not lifting with your arms. Connect with that core, squeezing the glutes. Everything up, lock out, let it drop. Power from those hips. Drive it back, let it drop. Drive it, whew. Sorry, drive it up, let it drop. Yes, you can. Breathe. Ha. Three, two, one. Swing and relax. Pedal those feet right where you are. You did it team. Whoo, hang out in the stretch for a minute. If you can, have your hands on the kettlebell. If that's not right, whoo, have your hands on the wall in a chair and just get a little pedal. Uh, let your bad head, neck relax. Slowly roll it up, hands on top of the legs. And again, that standing cat cow. Yes! How do you feel? I hope the answer is good. Maybe a little bit tired. Maybe that was a lot for your brain. You guys know, even when we're straight up supersets, I like to give you options. I want this workout to be accessible. If you're new to it, you stick with the first round. If you wanna add some things, either for more intensity or just variety, because sometimes our brains need that break. Right, right through here. Whatever you need, Whatever you did today, wherever you were in this journey with me today, it's exactly where you need to be, right? <sighs> Roll those shoulders, press it out. Thank you so much for being here today. Please leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of this workout. Make sure if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And of course, leave me a comment, leave me a like. Let's shake it out right there, little taps. Woo, reach those arms up right through here. Take it over to one side. When you subscribe, that helps me keep making these workouts for you for free here on the YouTube channel. And then also make sure, if you haven't already, to subscribe to download the free BodyFit by Amy app. And if you're able, join us in the BodyFit Athletic Club. That is where you get that community support, that group coaching, that access to myself, to our BodyFit dietitian, through live streams, through Q and A's, through office hours, the method nutrition plan, and more. And if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one support, one-on-one -on -one coaching, we have options for that too. So check out everything in the links below. Whew, thank you so much for being here with me today. Make sure you get some more stretching on your own. One big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your total body kettlebell supersets workout. Great job, everybody.